Hey there YouTube, I wanted to put together a little video about how we put together these cable railings for a deck. I could not find any useful videos on YouTube, so I thought I'd put something together. But those are 4x4 four four posts, and uh, those are spaced out 3 inches. Let me show you what I have put together as far as materials are. And I'll show you how to do it. So here are the parts we're using. Um, this is made to accept a 1 8 inch stainless steel cable. Um, it's just a nut on the end or a nut cover, a nut, and then just a washer. These are about mm, almost 4 inches long so they fit right inside the post which is real nice. And then we have, these are the swage ends. I wanted a cleaner look. And so I went with these and they just get crimped on with the, uh, with the cable inside of there. And I forgot to show you what it looks like on the back end. Let me see if I can find one. There we go, so that's what it looks like the back end and then that way you only have hardware showing on one end. I believe you can see the hardware on the other end here I'll show you what the, the end that sticks out looks like. Actually that's not a good view. There they are. And I'm still in the process of tightening them all down and cutting off the slack. But besides that hardware, of course you need your stainless steel cable. And we have a thousand feet of this. My deck's pretty large, so we got about a thousand feet of it. And this is a uh, seven by one. So. Next I'll show you exactly how to swage it. Oh, actually we did, uh, this is the crimping tool I'm using. It's from uh, Harbor Freight. It does eight tons. And everything I found online wanted you to buy like a 12 ton swaging tool, hydraulic swaging tool. That were about $120. I was not gonna spend that. I found this at Harbor Freight. Regular price was $59.99 and I used a 25% off coupon. So I got it for pretty cheap. Pretty happy with it, it works just fine. All right. All right, so hopefully I'm in the shot here. Uh, you just take the butt end piece, put the end of your cable over it, put the swager or the hydraulic crimping tool, turn it to on, put that guy inside of there. and that's what you get there and I like to crimp it twice uh, in a different direction just to make sure that it has a good hold and there you go that's how you do the, the end of it cut this wire and measure it the size and I'll show you what the rest of it looks like. Alright, I got this piece measured all out and cut. Use these wire cutters from uh, Ace Hardware. And here is the other piece just without the nut and the, uh, the end of it on there in the washer. So you just take that apart. When you measure how long your lines are gonna be, keep in fact, uh, keep in, in mind that right here is how far in it goes. So and you want just enough of your screws to hang outside of your post, and I'll 
show you what that looks like here. But I'll, let me crimp this one and then we'll throw it inside the post. So I just fished the wire through with the butt in there, just put this inside of the hole, pull it all the way through. It just goes inside the other side. Sometimes I have to hold on with a pair of pliers and um, hammer it so it goes all the way through this post. Just give me one second here. I need to pick up my pliers so I get it. Wages and butt ends that we needed and everything for um, just about 500 bucks uh, versus having to buy those full manufactured kits which only come in different lengths like 50, 50 feet, 100 feet, 75 feet, 25 feet, whatever. Um, adding up the math on those, it would have cost us probably about $2,500 buying those kits. And so this is a, a DIY, DIY project that saved us a lot of money by doing it ourselves and piecing each, each component together. Well, thanks for watching, guys.